Are we really shocked? YouTube family! What's good with y'all? What's good, man? It's your boy Jay the Sneaky Guy coming at y'all today. Coming at y'all today, man, with a discussion video about some shocking news that happened today, man. Two days in a row, man. What's going on? What's going on? I'm gonna tell you what's going on. Nike is coming to collect. They're coming to collect, man. But today, February 2nd, is the date. Um, we did have a shock drop. Of course, you know, everybody knows of the Air Jordan. Bang! 13 playoffs, which isn't too shocking to me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna hold you though. Nike, they, they've been on the hush. They've been on the hush. So Nike has been switching it up, man. And back in previous uh, times of shot drops and stuff, we all been kind of getting the drop, man. Today, I didn't hear nothing about this shot drop prior to it happening. It was really, really on the hush. And um, I think they trying to cover things up, man, because if you guys know yesterday, February 1st, we did have the release of, uh, well, a shot drop release of, of course, the Travis Scott Air Max. We had the Jackie Robinson Dunks, as well as the Orange Lobster Dunks, all which were rumored to have been shot dropping from weeks ago. But however, Nike ended up scrapping that shot drop and they was like, you know what? We're gonna be a little bit more discreet. We're gonna be a little more, you know what I'm saying? They can't predict us. So Nike is starting to, you know, keep things on the hush, I guess. I don't know, but you know, shockingly or not shockingly, we did get the Air Jordan 13 playoffs, which I will talk to y'all about. Give y'all a little more in depth thoughts on how I feel about this shoe because I do have a first look where I told y'all how I feel about it off of initial first thoughts you know but um we'll talk about these a little bit more but um yeah man hey besides that last video I did talk to y'all about my on feats and such man I just be you know I just be talking bro them on feats ain't going nowhere your boy Jay will be keeping the on feats however I do read the comments and I did take a lot of what you guys said into consideration a lot of it made sense you know what I'm saying a lot of y'all was saying do not do on feats to every shoe only do on feats to the shoes that make sense and um I, I can agree with that you know what i'm saying i'm like yeah that, that that makes more sense and with that being said i want to know from y'all you know i will be keeping of course uh the air jordan 2 lucky greens which is releasing tomorrow february 3rd at the time of me making this video but um i will be uh keeping that pair so i want to know from y'all should i throw those on feet should i hit y'all with an on feet to those or is that a shoe that y'all are like eh, eh? and i know y'all like bro you still ain't even hit us with the on feet to the air jordan one chicago i know i know i know i know your boy like i be overwhelmed bro y'all gotta y'all gotta understand man and then, for those of you who do understand i truly appreciate y'all for that because um it just be a lot going on and then you know things get behind and it's like okay i gotta i gotta look past it into the future because it's so much releasing so it's kind of hard for me to go back when it's so much on my plate in front of me you know what i'm saying if you know you know but uh with that being said like i said man back on the topic should i put Bang! The Air Jordan 2 Lucky Greens on feet. Should I do it, y'all? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you are in the premiere, I'm probably down there chopping it up with y'all right now. I'm curious to know y'all thoughts. Y'all let me know. Should I throw these on feet or should I just let them slide? You know what I'm saying? As well as I want to know y'all prediction on these. Y'all let me know. My prediction on this shoe is these will sit. That's my prediction. My prediction is these will sit for a little bit of time. And of course, they will eventually sell out because of, you know, everybody's starting to get a little bit of money in. A little bit, you know what I'm saying? Not that much money because, you know, the government and cut into y'all pockets but they have a little bit of money to probably pick up some lucky green so i do see them eventually selling out but they gonna sit for the most part but i want to know y'all thoughts on it do y'all think these are gonna sell out let me know but um yeah man um i just wanted to ask you know on feet worthy or not i actually think they possibly are on feet worthy but i need to know it from y'all man are y'all watching it y'all watching on feet to these lace swap all that good stuff y'all let me know man but back to the topic of this video with that out the way man we got to talk about the air jordan 13 playoffs okay so this is actually my first time owning this shoe and i'm not gonna hold you i'm not gonna hold you i mean it's a clean shoe it's dope it's you know what i'm saying it's it's a nice shoe you know what I'm saying? it's an og shoe michael jordan actually played in this shoe so it is a very very special shoe however i could have done without this shoe just keeping it a buck with y'all i'm not saying that to say that i'm not happy to own a pair i'm just saying that i mean whether they release these or not i would have been cool with it it's kind of like the same feeling i had last year when they released the retro 12 playoffs a lot of people went crazy they loved that that shoe retro i was like 
Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because I've owned that shoe two times prior to that one. But with these, this is my first time owning the Playoff 13s. And I just, I, I'm, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of this in particular Air Jordan 13. Although, although it is clean. I'm not saying it to say that there's anything wrong with the shoe. I actually think that this is a hard shoe. It's dope, but I just, I didn't need it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't need it, but I'm glad I got it. But, um... Yeah, man, with on that note, let me know how do y'all feel about these. This will be a highly, highly produced shoe. Um, right now, this shoe is really going for roughly $50 or so above retail on the resale side of things. So, you know, it's, it's plenty of pairs out there. That's why that price is the way it is. And is this a shoe that y'all would be going after? The official release date is in three weeks. So I want to say it's February 18th that these will be releasing. Retail, I want to say it's $200. And this will definitely be a one that I will throw on feet because I know the anticipation and, you know, the hype is there for this shoe. A lot of y'all want to see this shoe. And, um, yeah, I was getting on me too. Yeah, I was like, bro, Jay, when you do the on feats, you got to do them prior to the shoes coming out. I've been very bad at that lately. Um, As far as doing my own feats, I do them after the shoe releases. And it's like, what good does that do? It doesn't help y'all make up y'all mind whether y'all want the shoe or not. So I got to kind of get better with my timing on doing the on feats and stuff when I do do them. But I'm going to try to, y'all. I'm going to try to. That's my goal this year. Try to get more on the schedule as far as getting this content out to y'all in a timely matter, man. But the Air Jordan 13 playoffs, like I said, not a bad shoe. I just wanted to give y'all my thoughts and opinions on them while I'm here. Let me give y'all a nice little 360 look at the shoe. You know what I'm saying? Jordan, yellow hits right there. Very, very infamously known for that yellow uh, circle on the top of the tongue there. Very, very few Jordans had that. I think this was the first Air Jordan 13 to ever have that ring around the jump, man. Um, outlined in red. You got the uh, outsole right there. You know, just all over black shoe. And of course, in my opinion, man, Air Jordan 13s is like top three. Top three most comfortable Jordan silhouettes in my opinion y'all let me know bro let me know down below your top three most comfortable air jordan silhouettes i think my top three gotta be like my number one might gotta be the air jordan three i think the air jordan three it's it's between this and the air jordan three and then um what comes behind that i, I really don't even know is a 14 14 ain't really comfortable uh i i really don't know i know my top two though is threes and 13s top most comfortable Jordans in my opinion man but yeah man that is pretty much it I just wanted to talk to y'all about this shoe which did shock drop today man let me know if you got a W down below I didn't even go for another pair man but uh my phone ringing but yes y'all y'all just let me know down below I truly appreciate y'all as always for watching the video make sure y'all give it a thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and um yeah man I'm gonna try to get these videos out to y'all in a timely matter I did have another shoe sale uh What's left is what's listed on that page. So shout out to y'all if y'all copped anything off there. And um, yeah, that is it for this one, man. Your boy Jay is checking out. I'm going to catch up with y'all on the next video. Y'all stay blessed. I'm out. Peace.